guys, thanks for checking in. It's Mel here. In today's videos, I am gonna be going through all my eyeshadow palettes, or majority of them, and I'm gonna put them into three categories for you guys. So the first being my favorite. I think they're definitely worth the money. Amazing eyeshadow palettes. The second category is gonna be bang for your buck, kind of like it's worth the investment, even though like even though they might not be like the coolest, best palette. I think it's worth your money with how many shadows you get, quality, and it's like a good price for what you actually get. The third category is going to be palettes I was disappointed with once I got to use them. So let's start out with bang for your buck because this kind of category I kind of like. I am a makeup collector. I also collect makeup on a budget so I think this category is awesome. So it's palettes I think you should really invest in for multiple reasons. The first palette, now this can also be in my love category because I love this palette but I also think it's a bang for your buck for what you get and the quality. So it's the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. So this is what it looks like. I've gotten so many uses out of it and it looks like it's barely been touched. So this palette I think is great for beginners. So you have a lot of neutrals and really pretty shimmers. You can do tons of looks and it also gives you a few options of fun colors that if you're feeling a little brave and adventurous and want to get out there, it gives you the options to dive into some color. So I definitely love it and it's like a bang for your buck. You get all these amazing quality eyeshadows for a really great price. I want to say it's like $38, but you get how many shadows do we have here? So you get 35 shadows and it's like pretty much $38. So it's like a dollar per shadow. But I just think it gives great assortment and it's like you get so many for, you know, a great price. And it's drugstore. I guess Morphe's considered drugstore. It's an amazing palette. I think she did a great job. And this is great for traveling. It's just, I think you should really invest in this one. The next palette I'm gonna talk about is one you can get at the drugstore. Mine's really dirty, I apologize. But this is by the brand Pro Fusion. They have so many palettes out there. I have the Infatuation one, there's multiple ones. I had a hard time deciding which one to get. But I ended up going with this one because it was unlike all my other palettes. And it even comes with the eyeshadow, a really nice quality eyeshadow brush. So what I like about Profusion is you get all these good quality shadows from the drugstore. How many do we have here? I do a lot of math today. 21 shadows and it's $20. So each shadow costs them less than a dollar. And it, they give you a great assortment, shimmers and mattes. So I definitely think this is a bang for your buck. If you see it in Target or whatever, I think you should definitely check them out if you're on the verge of looking for a new eyeshadow palette. I just like that it's cheap and you get a lot of shadows. The next bang for your buck is the NYX Ultimate Multi Finish Shadow Palettes. These come in multiple colors. This one I'm obsessed with, this is Sugar High. So it's really cool. You get you get a row of mattes, a row of satins, and then a row of like shimmery, glittery ones. Um, these are great quality. I think they're bang for your buck that you get three different types, three different textures, and you get 12 eyeshadows. And I think they're only like 12 to $15. So, and they're great quality. I love these little guys and they're compact and easy to travel with. The next bang for your buck is the Too Faced Natural Love Palette. This is the original one. I don't have the new one. But why I think this one is bang for your buck because if you do friends makeup, all my friends love this palette. They always want me to use this palette for their looks and I think it's great for brides or bridesmaids or someone who's just looking for a natural look. And they're really soft colors and they blend really nice and it comes with a big mirror. And then the final bang for your buck is the Too Faced Best Year Ever. The Too Faced palettes that come out at holiday every year. I just think they're really great. You get a lot of awesome colors. I love this one. You also get a bronzer, blush, and highlighter that come with them, which I think is really awesome. This one I love. This was the 2018 one. Great quality, and they aren't too expensive, so 
definitely check that out too during the holiday sale. So next I am gonna move on to the eyeshadows that I love. So the first one I'm gonna go with is definitely a holy grail, love this. Definitely wanna try another one by this brand, but this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. This, oh my God, this is amazing. This is totally my colors. I love this palette, it's definitely soft glam. You can do a day look, you can do a night look, it's awesome. Definitely, definitely love this palette. I've gotten my money's worth. It's actually my best friend got me this for my birthday. Just so pretty with the berries, the warm tones, the golds, and the browns. Packaging is beautiful. I know the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes are a little more expensive, but they're definitely worth the money, especially this one in my opinion. Next, the one that I was surprised with, I didn't think I would love it, but I'm falling in love with it the more I use it, is the Alomar Cosmetics Volume 1 eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. I know you only get eight shadows, but let me tell you, this quality of these shadows is incredible. I am blown away. These two colors up here, these are just the most beautiful, stunning, and they are like butter. Like, so beautiful, gorgeous, and the mattes blend out amazingly. I love this palette. The packaging is super cute. This is a new and upcoming brand, and I think it's on a roll, and I think it's doing amazing. Shout out to them. I just am falling in love with their products. So the next one is one that I got in my BoxyCharm, so I didn't actually purchase it, but I love it, and I think it's very unique, and it, it's great for a collection. So this is the Pure Festival palette. I just think the colors are very beautiful and it's different and it's not like your usual palette. They give you some bright, fun colors. You get two amazing glitter, pressed glitters, which definitely add to a look. And it's a very warm palette, but it's also very wearable. You can do something simple with the browns and the orange and the gold, or you can like rev it up with the purples and the pinks and the glitter. So I definitely am in love with this palette if you can get your hands on it. And it's also really good quality. It smells, it smells delicious. <laughs> so this is another great love of mine. Another palette that I got a while back, it's actually really dirty is the Lorac Pro Mega Palette number Mega 3. So this is the third one. This one I love for different reason. This one is, of course the quality is there with Lorac Pro. You get a ton of shadows. Like, look how many shadows there are. What I like about this palette is it's so unique, is the color scheme. It's actually a very cool toned color scheme. Now I don't have any palettes like this and I haven't seen many out there with some of these shades in here that, you know, it's just very different and I love that. I love that it's different, you get a huge mirror um, and you get 32, you get 32 shadows in here. That's amazing and it's just, there's so many different colors and they're cool tone and that's hard to find I feel like and it's fun to play with and try new things. I definitely love this palette. Getting down there, I have two more palettes that I love. So the next one I also got in a BoxyCharm. This is by Ace Beauty, I believe. Grand Louise palette. So this palette, all, first of all, the packaging is phenomenal. Second of all, the colors in here are right up my alley. These are so beautiful. You get big, big pans and they go on like butter. Super pigmented, I'm talking about pigmented you need to tap your brush off <laughs> these are very very beautiful I just love the color scheme I think that's why I'm so in love with this palette is because this is my kind of color scheme I love you know warm pink and orange tones especially on my eyes so and then finally surprisingly this <laughs> palette I love and it's just like such a random palette, but like I can't get enough of it. And the color scheme is awesome. So this is one of the ColourPops palettes. This is the My Little Pony collaboration palette. I mean, it is just so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. So one thing with ColourPop is you can get eyeshadow palettes and they're very affordable at drugstore and the, the quality of the product is up there. This is just so cute. I like can't get enough and the sh the shades in here are amazing. Like again, this is another palette that I don't see too many palettes with this kind of color scheme and range of colors. 
I actually use this one a lot. I love using this peach and orange, and I also love using this iridescent color. Two of these are iridescent. The purple in this, I believe, the purple in this one, they're like iridescent and they're so beautiful on the lid. But yeah, and I also love this color for a crease. They're just, it's just really beautiful. And the names are on here are like Butterscotch Blossom, Firefly, Twilight, Starshine. <laughs> like it's so freaking cute. I cannot get enough of this palette. Freaking adorable. This is actually <laughs> one of my favorite. Now for the last category, which, you know, I only have three eyeshadow palettes in this category, so that's not too bad. You know, I just, they're not awful. I They're actually quite nice. I was just really disappointed. I had high, high, high hopes for these palettes, and I just was disappointed in how, you know, they turned out. Let's get into it. So the first palette, I'm not super, super disappointed with it. It's just, it's just basic. And one thing I didn't realize is you can't do much. Well, you can, but for me who like, I, I'm pretty, you know, into like blending and crease colors, you can't do much with this palette. This is the Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette. One thing with this is, I'm sorry, I'm blinding you guys. It's all shimmer. So there's like not much I can do with this palette. So this is like a, a accessory palette where I can just use the shimmers on the inner quarter or lids with other eyeshadow palettes. There is no mattes. The colors are really pretty. I mean, the pigmentation is okay. I mean, I've had better for shimmers. Um, this is the other side, really pretty colors. But I was just disappointed. Packaging is cool, but it's like not very versatile. Like you have to pull this whole thing out, you know, just to get to the shadows and it's like bulky plastic. So it's just kind of really disappointed with it. And like the quality I thought could be a little better. The next palette that I was disappointed with is kind of surprising. Maybe I got a dud, I'm not sure, is the Naked 3 Urban Decay palette. This is like the rose toned one. I mean, the scheme is beautiful, but like this just doesn't show up on my skin tone. Maybe that's the issue. Like maybe I'm just too dark complexion, which I'm not even that dark, but it just, you know, some of these colors just like melt, just like blend into each other and just like muddy and it just doesn't, didn't work for me. And like, it's supposed to be a great quality palette, all the naked palettes with this one. Just really disappointed. Just didn't work for me. And finally, last but not least, I'm really sad to put this one in my category because I just got it over the summer, but I kind of have to. First off, this is the Tarte High Tides and Good Vibes palette. I do love this palette. One thing, the packaging is a 10 out of 10. Like how cute, liquid um, packaging. And the color scheme is just beautiful. And, and, it smells good and stuff, but I was just not blown away by the quality of some of these matte shades. I mean, the glitters are awesome. The glitters are nice. They don't give me much fallout, but like the blues in here are just, were really hard to work with. And the, um, these two shades just like didn't wow me. And I was like, wanted to be wowed by this palette. I just wasn't. I mean, it's a good palette, but the money I spent and how much hype I had for this, I was just let down. So guys, that is a lot of my palettes. I do have a bunch others, but I just ha put these into categories. So I hope you got something out of this video. Maybe you um, are gonna purchase one of my love palettes or bang for your buck palettes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. If there's any palettes that you love, let me know down below in the comments. I'm always, you know, about getting eyeshadow palettes. And if you guys like this video, let me know. I can also do a video on all my face palettes that I have because I have a big collection of those too. So thanks again guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe and thanks. See you next time.